So I'm looking at the renderings of this floor plan. And it looks like on the base level, you've got a garage and a door. Or in this rendering, looks like your garage, a door, and a window. So let's take a moment and see about maybe doing that on this. Let's go to the hit one and go to the, uh, a proper front view and see what we can do. So I'm in Archimesh. I'm going to click on the door. And I have a door. Now the door is where the 3D cursor was, but I'm not going to worry about that because in this case, the 3D cursor is on this plane and I can move the door after the fact. Uh, so I've got Archimesh down here. don't need that at the minute. I'm going to minimize that. And we'll look at the door. So the door frame is too high. So let's make that a little bit shorter. And I'm going to turn this into the garage door for now. It's just, it's, it's a stand-in. It'll work. It'll be fine. So I'm going to make that wider, eh, maybe about like that. Eh, yeah, 4.5-ish. Okay. Uh, I'm not worried about which way it's opening at the moment. I'm going to get rid of the handle, and that'll suit our purposes for the moment. So over on the side, I'm going to grab the door group. I will push G to grab. I will push X to grab on the X axes, and I will slide that over to about where it was in the drawing. All right, so next would be putting that door and window in. I noticed that there seems to be a little landscaping happening out over and in front so that this door and window actually end up right next to the garage door. So let's go ahead and see if we can't make that happen. All right, so let's go back to Archimesh. We'll add a door. Um, let's move this over so I can see it. My got a smaller screen set up these days when I'm popping around where I'm recording. So let's go ahead and change that so it's opening to the left. Uh, let's go ahead and adjust the height, make it shorter. That seems more appropriate. Looks kind of squat and wide though, so let's narrow it up just a bit. Seems a little more natural. Maybe for model type, let's see. Uh, no, model, there, that, that seems okay. All right, so over here on the outliner, let's, um, Let's see where you are. Okay, there's my door groups. Let's go ahead and grab this on the x-axis. Slide it over, something to that effect. All right. So now let's go ahead and add a window. I'll do a panel window. Move things over a bit. So let's minimize Archimesh and look at what we have. Uh, for the, I only want one panel, I think, so we'll do one for the horizontal counts. And let's make it, yeah, size wise, something like that. Now, the window is looking pretty wonky right now. Well, one of the things that we need to do is um, turn on the auto hole feature. Let me see if I come back to there, to the room itself and maximize it. There should be. Oh, no. Let's see if I've got it there. It's in Archimesh. My apologies. And I turn on auto holes. Now a hole is automatically being made in the walls of the room where it intersects with the doors and the windows. So if I come back to this window group now, and if I grab this, and we'll grab it on X, put it over approximately where the door was. We'll uh, grab it on Z. Lift it up a bit, 
not so sure about the scale so maybe i'll scale that down a little bit more but overall there we go something to that effect that looks not dissimilar from what the base level of this house rendering looks like